Hi, I'm Dr. Smith with Anesthesiology. I'm the Chief of Anesthesia here at the Advanced Surgery Center of Tampa. I'm here to talk with you a little bit about your anesthesia and what you can expect the day of your surgery for your joint surgery. We use three different types of anesthesia. The first type of anesthesia is regional anesthesia, which is also known as a nerve block. The goal of a nerve block is to give you a small injection that will numb the nerves around either the knee or the hip so that when you wake up you will have less pain. This injection is done with both IV sedation and local anesthesia so you will not feel the injection itself. The second type of anesthesia that we use is spinal anesthesia. The goal of spinal anesthesia is to numb you from the waist down so that you won't feel any of the surgery. You'll still go to sleep with IV sedation in the operating room during your spinal anesthesia. The third type of anesthesia is general anesthesia. You may be familiar with general anesthesia from having had another type of surgery, such as another abdominal surgery, like a gallbladder or appendix, or orthopedic surgery. General anesthesia uses a combination of IV medications and gases to put you all the way off to sleep. Once you're off to sleep, you will put a small breathing tube in your windpipe. We'll take it out before you wake up, but it might leave you with a sore throat for a couple days. The type of anesthesia that we decide to use will be decided together with your surgeon and myself. As far as pain is concerned for after surgery, if you came in with pain, it's likely that you're going to leave with some pain. We can't get your pain down to zero if you came in with moderate pain. The goal, however, is to keep you comfortable so you can get up and walk and start participating in physical therapy and be safe to go home. 